And now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, it has been a very stormy morning, one of those days where you don't want to go outside even to leave the office for lunch. But luck changing here, the back edge of steady and heavy rain starting to make its way into southwestern Rhode Island. Now, this final line, though, of heavy rain has had some of the strongest winds to date with it, even some gusts isolated at 50 to 60 miles per hour. So we still have the potential over the next hour or two as this moves up towards the north and east that we we could see still some additional pockets of wind damage. There's been a few reports of isolated trees down on power lines, uh, limbs and branches certainly coming down in these sorts of winds. Uh, we'll focus in on some of the higher uh, rainfall amounts right now from Carolina through Hope Valley and Kingston dealing with these uh, heavy downpours and as we travel up 95 into the uh, northern northern suburbs from Cumberland along 295 seeing some pockets of heavy rain, but notice Things have started to clear up in Hartford, even along 95 in Connecticut, improving conditions. Sun's back out southwestern Connecticut, and we may tap into a little bit of that sunshine here later this afternoon. We're still under this high wind advisory until 3 o'clock for the potential for gusts in the areas of yellow to 50 miles per hour. Right off the coastline, though, some 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts are possible, and that's mostly over the next hour or two. Here's the rainfall amount so far over an inch now in Smithfield, about a half an inch in Providence, westerly just over a half an inch and closing in on a half an inch of rain in Taunton. The view from City Cam has been a really gloomy one so far today. It is mild in the low 50s right now and winds still out of the southeast. We're going to see a shift in the wind here later this afternoon, a sign that our cold front has come through and the temperatures will start to drop. So we're probably at our high for the day. And from here on out, there we're looking at temperatures dropping back into the 40s by the end of the afternoon. Winds from the southeast still, again, for most areas, 20 to 25 miles per hour sustained. Notice the winds have shifted direction in Willimantic and Groton. So here's our cold front just getting ready to move through Rhode Island. We've got a winds gusting at times over 35 miles per hour, and we have seen some gusts over even 40 and 50 miles per hour. So we widen out the view satellite and radar again. This cold front quickly now making its way into southeastern New England as it lifts up to the north and east. Our rain will shut off. The temperatures will start to cool. There's still a few showers back behind it, so some lingering sprinkles and flurries in the afternoon and evening still possible. And we're a little core of warm air right here but that will quickly move out and some chillier weather settling in for the weekend. So here's the future cast at two o'clock. So the heavy rain's gone, but a spotty shower or sprinkle still possible. And then later on this evening and tonight, still blustery, a uh, few uh, flurries possible even into uh, Saturday morning and afternoon. So this afternoon, about 52 in Newport, 54 in Coventry, rain and wind coming to an end. It'll still be blustery, but drying out a bit later in the day and foster dropping back to about 50 degrees and we'll be back to the low 50s Fall River and New Bedford. Tonight's blustery, again mostly cloudy skies, lows in the low and mid 30s, a sprinkle or a flurry tomorrow near 42. Mostly sunny on Sunday at 39. So your Sunday future cast. And I still have a chance of some snow for Christmas Eve night and Christmas Day. I was just analyzing some new data, still showing signs of maybe a weak small storm system grazing our area. I don't think it'll be a major storm, but It'd be nice to wake up to some fresh snow falling on Christmas morning. All right, I'm sure you keep on top of that. Thanks, Michelle.